feels like Christmas mm, It feels like Christmas to me and bienvenue to part two of this Christmas series. Welcome back, guys. If you didn't already check out the last episode, go check it out. We spent a very merry 12 hours enjoying Basil's Swissmas. But today, after a very short 45 minute train journey, we have arrived in the beautiful Alsace region in France. We are going to show you all of the wonderful festivities that you can do here in this winter wonderland storybook fairy tale village. Welcome to Colmar. Guys, we just got off the train and it is way cheaper than Basel so far and off the train there is a vending machine with local produce. They literally have everything. They've got like biscuits, cheese, looks like some sort of sausages in there, some cured meats. I think there's like even some sort of dough and some like pasta sauce or something. So yeah, yeah. welcome to France y'all. We in France. What's that vibe missing? I'm in France y'all. I just sent my measurements to France, y'all. <laughs> We've literally just stumbled upon the most Christmassy store I think I've ever seen in my life. It's amazing. It's called Musée Hans, Hans Museum. I'm assuming it translates to. My French is a little, oh, it's been a while since I spoke French. But we're gonna pop in now, check it out, see what it's all about. And then after that, markets. Let's do it. Guys, when I tell you, I could spend hours and hours in the shop. While I tell of Yuletide treasure, la 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 la. We ended up getting two ornaments, one St. Colmar and then one gingerbread house. And I think the total was like 12, 12 euros. I'll pop the conversion rate over here in the corner for you as usual. Okay, on to the markets. Guys, I wish there was smell of vision right now. We've just walked past this French bakery. They're selling everything. They got Emmanuel's and biscuits. So Christmassy, you literally just push your head a little bit closer. And you can smell the calories. It smells, oh, it smells so good. It smells like butter and sugar. Two of my favorite things. at market number one of six we are here at Place de Dominicans it's basically like an arts and crafts market there is some food there's mold wine all the usual kind of shtick here it's very nice so market one of six we are on the hunt for a coffee so let's see if we can get one of those long day of marketing ahead of us let's do this don't know if I will ever get over this village. Absolute picturesque storybook, Beauty and the Beast vibes. I'm take a moment. Absolute vibes. It's literally storybook. I don't think I've ever been somewhere to, other than Tallinn is the only thing I can kind of compare it to. It's literally like walking through a fairy tale. Like they go all out. Okay, made it to market number two. This is Place Jean d'Arc, basically Joan of Arc. And allegedly, this is where you go if you want to get some food. Now, we've just had some coffee at like croissants and stuff. Didn't bother vlogging it, it was just a regular schmegler cafe. But we're gonna head in here. If I do see anything that catches my eye, I will be sure to let you guys know how much it is, what it tastes like, etc., etc. Let's do it. Market number two of six. Guys, I know I said this is for food, but the ornaments here are to die for. If you know anything about me, I literally love Christmas ornament. And there's just, oh, I could buy them all if I had room in the case. Honestly, I would. Okay, so we opted against getting food at this one. Despite it saying that it was known for food, there wasn't really anything that caught my eye. There was like a few kind of pizzas, some baguettes, and some pretzels, but that was kind of it. I did want to get a gingerbread, however, the card machine was broken and I don't have any cash, so maybe bring cash with you if you want to come. We're now making our way over to the third market of the day, and hopefully there we can get a gingerbread man and some other food. market of the day. We are at Petite Venice, basically little Venice here, because you can see all the canals are behind me. So far I feel like this one is probably like the most festive, the most cozy one. And I did get my gingerbread here. I tried to buy one in the other place, but we have it here for photos. We will try it later. Photos with it first though. Christmas love just with you. Christmas love just with you. 
guys, I stand corrected. I thought that was just marker three. It's Emma, which ones? Three and four? Three and four. Both together, side by side. Very nice. We're now going into the Gourmand Market, the one we thought we were at this morning, but a different one. Yes, that's good. We're often seeing <laughs> and the, we're <laughs> the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Yay! <laughs> It's about lunchtime and most of the vendors in here sell like traditional Alsace food which is great except for we're actually going to go to an Alsatian restaurant later tonight and try that food so we don't want like a double whammy of all the dairy and meat and stuff so please don't judge me but we have got for fish and chips it's a large fish and chips and it is 15 euros your man's cooking it now so we'll let you know how it tastes shortly and um, we also have our first mulled wine van show here in Colmar. That's heavy on the spices, what is that? Is that, I think that's like star anise or something. Can you taste it in the... How is it up? Is it good? Yes. Thumbs up? Very nice. <laughs> I like the chips. What's your verdict on the fish? Not for me, too fishy. But I like the chips a lot. And the glue vine? The glue vine's nice. I think I like the one better we had last night, that rose one was really nice. Okay, so now we're going to the covered market. This is market number five while we're here in Colmar. This is really unique because there's not many markets inside that are Christmas based in Europe. Can I just clarify, we're not sure what number this is because three and four was together. I thought that was five. Is this five? What was this one? This one wasn't on the list? This may be six. We're unsure. There's a lot of markets though. And they're all close by. So in this market, it's mainly produce. There is a few food shops where you can sit, you can relax. There's actually an outdoor terrace where you can eat on the waterfront, on the canals. There is some decorations, as always, behind me. And it's very nice, it's very cute, but we've just added the other markets. So we're gonna give this one a miss and we're gonna head out. So we have one final market to go. We're gonna take you there next. Let's do this. It started raining outside, so we've just taken some cover, some refuge here in a lovely little cafe. We've got three chocolate de chou avec chantilly. So basically you've got chocolate with cream, your girl is dairy food, so I'm just gonna have a Coke Zero and wait out of this rain. It looks like it's already subsiding, so it should be good. What a bit. Two hours later. Let's make a fire, just me and you. Talk about all that we could do. Alright guys, this is the final market. We headed back to the apartment basically to quickly change, freshen up, have a little break because it started lashing rain. We had to rush back. Now we're here at La Petite Venice. I thought we were here earlier. We weren't. It's very confusing. It's hard to know when one starts and one finishes, but this is the final one of the night. It's all lit up now. It's very, very beautiful. I hope it's all picking up on camera, but definitely vibey. 10 out of 10 would recommend Cold Mart. What's that? So far, so good, right? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Feel the fire burning, baby, spin that record one more time Cause we're gonna spend our night dancing in Christmas time <laughs> Another Vasho. Three euro and two euro deposit on the cup, and you can exchange it at any of the markets and accept them at all. So. <coughs> this one's a lot nicer. I like this wine. It's less like anise y, like star anise flavor. It's more like your regular Schmegler mulled wine. Delicious. Bon appetit. I've gone for a local beer. It's good. Uh, yeah, really delicious. There's actually. a new head on it. it just it tastes very IPA. All right, guys, that's all the markets complete for the final thing tonight here in Colmar. We are going to get some authentic Alsatian cuisine. So come with us. Let's go eat. I've been waiting all year for this. Grab your cocoa and the remnants. So oh, how I love when Christmas comes around. Wow, that's so good. Oh my god, it's almost like a carbonara in a pizza. It's so good. Okay, so this one's the Rital. So far, the OG is my favorite. We'll give this one a go. It's got courgette, some meat on there, cheese, and tomato sauce. Is it like honey or something like that? It's a little sweet. Too sweet? No, it's really good. I think that's like 
It is salty. I think, it, I think it's I think it's cured um, pork belly. Is what it tastes like, and some courgettes on there. It's very tasty though. But still, new favorite? No, still the OG is my favorite. But we still have one more to go. One truffle one. So we'll try that one next. Okay, the final one, the truffle one. I love truffle, so let's see. <laughs> I love it. Tough face. This one and the first one. Top two tier for me. Let's go. Mushrooms, rocket, cheese, truffle oil. And that was the final meal in Colmar, guys. It was really nice. We tried the traditional tart flambe. I think it was pretty reasonable, wasn't it? It was between like nine to 16 euros, depending on which kind of tart flambe that you chose. But really nice, really nice service. The guy was super friendly. He said that everything was made with love. Don't doubt it. We're heading back now. The plan was to get some sort of chocolates here that we've seen around the markets. However, it's 9 p.m. and everything's shut already. So we're gonna head home and call it a night. I might might see you guys in the morning because we're just going to grab a little few extra shots to show you guys the pink house but if I don't see you here's where I will sign off and I'm going to say thank you Colmar's so much great. for watching I will see you in the next one Colmar is fantastic stay tuned for the final part of this three-part Christmas series where we are heading to stay tuned